Dear presidents and dear government leaders of all countries that host refugee camps, also to all refugee families of our planet, this message is for all of you. My name is Goiana Ferreira. I am a teacher and a mother, a volunteer for many years and a gardener. I work for peace and love in our planet. I work for peace and love and to help families in need. In need of physical, emotional, mental and spiritual practices. Positive and sustainable practices. I work for all of us to be one, to be united, to hold hands, do the work that's needed, sing and plant united. God have asked me to expand my work, help and inspire all families of this planet Earth. He asked me to guide all government leaders of all countries on basic things they can do until our organization launching day, when we will have proper rules and guidance for all countries to be the most positive and most sustainable for everyone. I'm here today to talk to all of you and invite you to be part of this very special work, the Clean Water and Peace Organization. This organization that I have created, it has 10 departments, one for each main subject that you're going to see. And we will have 10 department director couples in every site, every residential community, every educational site, and will be a real gift for all of us. Preschools, schools, adult education, and at universities. Also for our new government office that will be called city office and also at all big businesses and production areas, plazas and sites of all types. Here's a few words about our proposal for all countries. The proposal from the Clean Water and Peace Organization. And you can check more details according to different subjects that are placed on YouTube. This program is for all families to have clean water and water all year round. For all families of this planet to own their own house. And all families to have food by planting gardens. Fruit trees, edible gardens. And is a program for every educational site of all countries to apply the peace education. Education that will focus on life objectives. What is the most important things for us to live well? For us to be healthy? For us to, to learn how to be kind and respectful? For us to apply peace and love in our hearts, our families, our communities, our countries? A program that for all of us to have a better humanity. So I'm going to mention here the, a few countries with the largest number of people living in refugee camps. And before I do that, I want to say that I'm very grateful for everyone that accepted those families. There are millions and millions of people in refugee camps. 
and I'm very thankful for the work that you have been doing until this present moment. With kindness, with respect, doing the best you can to receive them and offer the basic needs for all those people. Housing in the best way you could, water, food, and some education. Turkey has 3.7 million people from Syria. Colombia has 1.7 million people from Venezuela. Uganda has 1.5 million people from South Sudan, Republic of Congo, Somalia, and Burundi. Pakistan has about 1.4 million people in refugee camps. Germany has 1.2 million people from Syria. And Bangladesh has 1.1 million people from Horinga and from Myanmar. We have a total of about 6.6 million people that are refugees, about 4.5 million in refugee camps, and about 2 million in self-sheltered camps. My friends, we have to renew. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and I'm going to guide you on how we will do that. How we will renew, how we will offer everything the families need, including proper citizenship. The word asylum and other words won't be needed anymore because everyone will have proper housing, apartments to live in, in all those places. We will blend races and also different ethnicities. Families with very good positive practices, they will be able to go to other countries and this way we are going to share races in the whole planet. For us to have stronger genetics for our humanity, for future generations. Also for us to learn more on how we can hold hands and work united. Also for us to learn how to respect people that have different past practices, different religions, different cultural practices. Because in reality, all of us, we are sons and daughters of God. We are brothers and sisters on this planet Earth. God was created for us to evolve spiritually and not to fight. For us to evolve spiritually and have families united. So, my friends, to everyone that has been helping refugee camps in any way, my very special gratitude for people that have been working there for many years, for people that live there and try to help others with something that they can, for people that have been volunteering that come from closer, closer cities and nearby places for people that have been sending money for food or for anything that they need, housing, water, education. My gratitude to people that has also transporting items to offer to those refugees' families. But now it's time to renew, and we are not going to have refugee camps anymore. They are not needed, not sustainable, 
and we have to renew, make it a better place for us to have a bad humanity. Where everyone and a, from all countries will learn how to share. Because everyone has a gift. And we are going to practice the gift that we have. Some people are very kind. Some people are very strong. Some people do have money. Some people have the gift of peace and love. Some other people knows how to play games. And others know about the plants of that region, food that can be planted to everyone, because it's not sustainable for anyone to have food from other states and other countries. We have to learn how to be more sustainable, and we will achieve this very special objective. So first... We will start telling people. We will start informing everyone. That's the first thing for the residents to have guidance on how this work will start. After we inform and start taking care of people, we will start building residential communities and the four educational sites, also health clinics and see the offices. We will have proper engineers and proper specialized people to have the engineer plant that are templates that will be used for apartments of two floors to be built. Okay, so let's start with one thing at a time. First, how we will inform and have families to know about this program and for them to also have their health checkup, start planting the gardens, have registration and have proper official citizenship for everyone and also for them to start having their outside learning games in English with jump ropes and circle games, and also to start implementing these 40 to 80 different teams that will be needed. Okay, so let's start singing, because that's the most important thing for us to get united and raise our white peace flags. So people can start singing in circles, and for those that learn first can share with the others. Let's sing United. Clean waters and lands, sacred waters and lands, clean and sacred waters to our lives, peace to our hearts, to the ones in need. We are all one, we are all one. Are you ready? Let's sing with me. Come on. Clean waters and lands, sacred waters and lands, clean and sacred waters to our lives. Peace to our hearts, to the ones in need. We are one, we are one. Clean waters and lands, sacred waters and lands, Clean and sacred waters to our lives. Peace to our hearts, to the ones in need. We are all one, we are all one. Very simple, right? Okay, so let's start working now. I'm going to say item by item, the best I can for now, and soon we will add it more videos and more written handbooks for all this work for renewing the refugee camps, all refugee camps of our planet. So here it is. Work proposal from the Clean Water and Peace Organization for all refugee camps of our planet. 
Refugee camps are very different from one to another. We even have in Germany an airport that is being used for refugees. But here are the basic rules and guidelines for camps, refugee camps, that do have a lot of land available. And for all other refugee camps to be doing exactly the same, the best as possible. So number one is to inform, to teach all families and all department directors, people that will be interested in these positions, to know about the program. And after that, they will be passing the same information to all families that will be watching the same videos. These videos will be placed on locations, on buildings, if they already have them available. Otherwise, they will be placed in bus offices. Bus offices are those that we will set up, arrange them to be sent and stay there at the refugee camp for all these weeks that will be needed until other locations will be properly built in the area. So, they will have synthetic covers, long synthetic covers for the video to be able to have uh, people will see that won't be too bright and also for people that will be sitting down to watch those videos. The first video is this one for people to have a basic idea about our program and after that other very important videos will be placed. During this time that will take quite a few days, the first most important week, we will still about to inform, teach the 10 interest department director couples for each area. What that means? For preschools, for schools, for adult education, for universities, residential communities, commercial sites, production sites and government, the government new city office. And what that means? So, people that are interested and are already uh, having good practices and natural leaders of those sites, people that are kind, respectful, don't drink, don't smoke, right? Don't do bad things, don't fight and uh, have positive words, respect their spouse, respect themselves, respect their children, their teens, and also children and teens of other families. Those can sign up and join this program. So it will be one whole week of teaching only these 10 department directors, couples, director couples. Because we will focus on them first, for them to have an idea, be well prepared, and start their program. For refugee camps that have already some professionals in different areas, or people that have good practices, even that they do not have a proper diploma, but they know how to do um, and or can also learn about our training for different areas, they can sign up and they will be watching these videos for the whole week, those most important chosen videos, okay? That is start with this one that I'm giving you right now for them to have an idea about the basic items we will be working with. We will be receiving all these refugee camps, professionals from local cities, nearby cities, from the same state or really close by, in a distance of what is needed. It can be up to 50 kilometers or even 80 kilometers. I think that's reasonable. In different areas that they will be helping those department directors that already live there to start their 
needs start working on their department. They can be doctors, they can be nurses, English teachers, or people that already know English games, even that their English is not so good yet. People from their own state, or people even from other countries. People that are offering themselves to teach, work with these department directors, also be department directors and live there for at least 10 years. Okay, so from notice day, as soon as possible, the university students, university teachers that are nearby, the closest one, we will organize those buses, have donations from special kind people to have everything that's needed to start this program in different areas. And the first thing is this information, this teaching, this sign up, and the basic work, how we will start implementing all those things from each department. For everyone that will sign up for those 10 departments to be department director couples, if along these first weeks until the organization launching day, someone better comes, they will give their place to that couple that is better. But from the organization launching day and afterwards, no one will be exchanging places anymore. What the person assume responsibility on that day, like that will be for the 10 years. Okay, so we have those department directors that can be indicated by the people that work, already work at refugee camps. And also the people that work can inform everyone, whichever way they have to inform all families. Okay, so the department directors will have the video because the videos are self-explanatory as well, with many images that will be easier for them to understand. But for the population in general, it's going to be really hard to show videos for millions of people. We are going to offer radios. Radios will be placed in different locations where the food is served. So while the people are coming and waiting for the food that usually they line up, and also places where they have the water, the radio is going to be placed with solar panels, and the recordings on the language that they understand will be made. With the same sentences from our videos and soon from our website. The radio information will be placed the whole day and will be on this order. Two hours of information, one hour break for meetings and something else they have to do. And then again, two hours information and one hour break for eating and do other things they have to do. Every day for the whole week, the same messages will be played. so they can have time to assimilate and to understand the proposal for each of those departments. This way, the families will have time and will have consistency on their groups, their meeting groups for each department. This radio information will be messages that I will be sending to everyone. I will plan ahead, record them, and people will be translating the same exact words on their language they understand. 
Until the day I am able to record those messages, the people that work at those camps and also people that are coming to help will be playing on the radios these messages. They will be reading the YouTube videos and messages that I already posted. Because for all those videos, when the person goes to close caption, it will be the translation right there on the language they need. So they will focus the whole week on the language that everyone or most refugees do understand. The same language for the whole week. And afterwards will be placed um, for other languages as well. In a nearby location, if the camp has many families that do not understand that main first language, they will have another area with another radio being translating, translating all our videos on this other language. So here I have a basic map on how we will be doing this program, this radio information to all families from refugee camps. So here on R, that will be the radios, right? The radios will be placed on this position, like six o'clock for everyone. All right, so the families will be gathering. So, for example, here will be the, the, the first or the third main language, and here will be the second main language, for example. Here will be only for the basic English, people that are already know these basic things right here, okay? Uh, mostly basic greetings. Right, and some vocabularies I forgot to put, and some verbs, okay? So they can start building sentences if they learn verbs. Okay, and here will be for English only. People that reach this place will be department directors, okay? All right, so we will have this pattern, and everyone needs to come to here right work here one day or so at least one day for them to come in here why is that because people will be checking oh they really already know okay so they can come to this site on the beginning we are not going to have this because every english teacher and everyone that already know english from the refugee camps or from other places that will be coming to help or to live there, they will be here teaching, teaching, having games, planning, do everything here, okay? So, after a week or two weeks or even four weeks, that will be open, okay? Or as soon as um, we already choose, if we see people doing really well here, really enthusiastic to learn English, practicing, teaching their children, so they will be invited to come to this team. This team will be for department directors only, all right? Department directors only. The 10 department directors, all right? Okay, but those 10 department directors on the beginning will be working right here to be planning, to be teaching, to be organizing things they need. For what? To build all the things I already talked about. The preschools, the schools, adult education, right? All those things that we need. The universities, the residential communities, the commercial plazas, the production sites, and the new CD offices. The new CD office where they will do all their documents, okay? So those are the places and that they can sign up to be different department directors and they will have to plan together 
and start building teams, working teams for the STEM departments. Okay, so, but we have millions of people in refugee camps, right? So what we are going to do? We are going to meet them on this way, like here, for you to have an idea. So let's say this big rectangle I made is the refugee camp, just for one idea. So we're going to put radios in different places and all radios will be transmitting messages and have electricity from solar panels. So basically will be posts with cameras because for us to, to track everyone that's really interested and working from the first day on, you know, for the different activities we'll be offering. So that's an idea. Because some are huge, right? So we need to place in a good, uh, sustainable way. Just to start a few, and as people will learn about the program and will start gathering, we can have more stations placed nearby. Okay? All right. And we have to see how the main station, a main station will be placed to send messages right a main radio station to send messages to all those locations these radio locations so we need here a main station that can be a trailer can be a bus you know probably a bus because if they need they can move to another location okay but i will let you know if the best will be a trailer to always stay in the same location or a bus that can move around if needed okay all right so we've done this first part now there is a way uh, that i thought for now how we will gather on those groups so here i just made a, an example on how we can do it so if the radio station is here before you put the radio stations in each location you have to see if this area is empty, so for families to meet, because some places are packed with their homes, right? So you need this empty location for this reason. Okay, so after finding out the radio with the days and hours, we are going to guide people to sit on this position. So as a clock. And we will be going clockwise. That's the most easier way I found up to the moment to gather people on the departments they want to be. So for the first day, people will be sitting all over, right? But we're still asking people to make a big circle or even two or even four big circles. One, two or four, not three. We are not working with three. And they will be circles with their family. So it comes the, the parents, their children, parents and children. And also the singles, that uh, single moms, single dads, they can come as well. Everyone can come. The family will be holding hands and then another family and then another family. And inside as well, right? Whichever amount of people they have. And we will guide them to bring all their family members. So, we will be doing the same pattern here, all around, all around. And leave that middle open, okay? All right, with the days. The first day, we just, uh, of course, the circles will be open, holding hands all around. But when they sit down to listen the messages and um, to work and do their games, learning games, they will have starting to have this way. Okay, so as soon as the group start to get organized, you're going to put a little post, you know, maybe a, a meter high, you know, with a little white flag something, for them to say that that's number one, number two, because um, that will be pretty large, right? Okay, so I'm going to have 
flags it does not need to have yeah you can put a little number you can paint a little number on it so people will know that that's the the group okay they want to be part so on the messages that we will be sending to these families we will start the very basics right for them to start uh, to don't wear their costumes anymore for different religion because that's not good and soon other people from other countries will be coming to live there right and some people from those refugee camps will be also moving to other locations okay um, different countries different places okay so but the main thing is for their basic needs okay so let's talk about department uh, two and three okay so the department two it's for families everything related to families okay so after a few days we will have many groups meeting right here towards the outside okay towards the outside so they will be using this area over here because there are many different groups for families okay for example families that want to live there families that want to move out families that want to be department there you know department directors of, of this uh, department and so on let's say a few words about the department three it will be the same way they will have this area here and with time they will be building different work teams to talk about specific items i told you we will have about 80 right so at least five from each to start okay all right so now let's talk about the department of four because the department four is one of the most important ones about food so we have the families very important and food so this department will be the same way okay so people will be so i didn't make the drawing so well but people will be gathering on this area here and they will have different groups okay different groups so one group will be um to get the edible gardens going the other group will be starting the agroforestry the other group will focus on fruit trees and so on everyone will be working everywhere but we need the basic information and a basic plan so groups will be having different um uh, uh, every department will have different working teams okay all right and in the same way for everyone okay so we will have here i didn't do a proper drawing right this part here but just for you to have one idea it will be a little bit more like that okay so we will divide you know so you need place for this circle and also we'll be guiding and i can make this better afterwards okay so all the groups the same way for construction for health for education right will be the teachers and so on okay all right so for the first week everyone will just have one main group one main group the first whole week so they can listen understand listen understand and then they will be talking okay they will be talking to um to each other but not in separate groups they will be talking in one whole big group because not everyone will be attending right away might take one day or two right for more families to be coming all right so and then this information will be given to everyone I think what's sustainable they have one hour on information one hour of break one hour information one hour break what's this break for for the meetings that we need so they will be talking 
about that subject. Even that on the beginning, everyone going to be talking about everything. But it's for people to start thinking about the options they have to be working. Because they will also work at their own place where they will be moving to. Okay? So this is very, very important. All right? Have one whole week of information. All right? According to their language. And according to that map, I already told you before, to have different stations in different places. Okay? All right. So, and here we will have those groups talking over and over. More people will be coming, more people. In the beginning, people will be coming anywhere, right? Because they don't know all this information. We will be giving this information with the days. As the days will be passing and more people will be knowing about, we will talk very slowly so people have time to process the information because many of these families probably they are not having proper nutrition for a long time or proper workout and so on okay so every morning we will start at seven o'clock we will sing our songs right and be ready for the day and people i don't know where each refugee camp might have a little different situation but uh, on eating time. So I think food can be served from uh, 6 to 8 o'clock and have a break during the 7 to 8 o'clock. So they will have their food, let's say, because we need to start getting organized. So the breakfast, I think, is sustainable to have from 6 to 7 and then from eight to nine okay so i wrote here breakfast from six to seven and eight to nine o'clock because from seven to eight will be our teachings we already be our teachings okay i think that's pretty good and pretty sustainable okay so here I placed some information about the meals of the day. For us to start getting organized this way, I think is really reasonable. So breakfast will be served from 6 to 7 o'clock, always before the time, right? Always before the hour. So 6 to 6.45, for example, and then 8 to 8.45. So people are ready to have their classes at 7 and 9 o'clock. So the same way for lunch will be offered from 11 to 1 o'clock. You know, so we have opportunity for people to still listening and the food will be served nearby, okay? At this um, uh, trailer, beside this trailer that we're going to have, you know, some bowls and the food served and prepared and so on. For the snacks, it's 9 to 10 and 2 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I think we need uh, less time, but anyways. So let's keep 9 to 10 and 2 to 3, sorry, 2 to 3. Because the sun is pretty hot and everyone needs to drink something, lots of water for sure, and eat a little something salty or have um, water mixed with some uh, water and salt or something because we cannot have anyone dehydrated okay all right and we start coming people that are stronger healthier right and of course if somebody is not um, feeling conditioned to be on that uh, location they will find a better location so though the map i made earlier for example this map here so if here's the trailer, right, for example. So we have um, this place is under a tree. It's for people that have younger children and elders, for example. This one is in place sun for um, teenagers and young adults, for example. So you already, you that will be volunteering and explaining details, you will already say who gonna come there the most as possible, right? without having any 
very fixed um, uh, instruction, but for, to inspire people. We want to touch people's heart, okay? So you will be inviting them for these different locations. And also, according to where the bathrooms are, until new ones are built, and so on. So if you have a bathroom, you put children and elders a little closer to a bathroom instead of far away from a bathroom, okay? All right, so this is just the basic, right? And if you need, you're gonna have other trailers with the basic information, all right? Okay, so here is this map I made here is to say a few words about the department directors. The department directors, people that are interested to join and move on and be leaders, one of these 10 department director couples, they will be here, right, as soon as possible, already using uh, sentences, greeting sentences in English, all right, as soon as possible. Okay, all right, so we will also have them as, um, as the day pass, saying a few words about the department, what they already know about the department they want to lead, right? And with time, as soon as possible, we'll have trailers that the best ones will be already filling out their questionnaires in computers we'll be offering. Computers, the best as possible, right? Um, really attached to the tables or laptops, you know, that are really attached to the tables. Okay, right there around or beside the trailer. So they can early in the morning start filling that up before the sun gets too hot. So all trailers and all buses will have this yawning, right, this covered, and we'll have these um, computers installed for them to fill up their information. All right, the, all these computers or laptops need to be properly attached to the table. So they won't be moving around or changing tables, and then you don't even know where they are anymore. So we need to have those tables attached to the trailers or attached to these buses and with screws under the table or something that will place them there. All right, on the top of these trailers, we will have solar panels. So we can have electricity for those computers. Okay, and also to show the videos. So people that will already be here, the best as possible and soon as possible, right, will be having those videos, okay? So, on, going back to the map that we made earlier, will be the same way. So, for example, if this is in one language, this is in another language, and here, will be, for example, for the basic English, and here another one with the basic English, all right? And then, uh, so if you put here, for example, the first main language, and here, for example, the second main language, so then you're going to have option for the other things as well, okay? All right, for the basic English, right? It's hard to write like that. But anyways, for the basic English and here for the basic English. So what do you need by the basic English? You need the trailers, right, that I talked about. So the trailer will be right here. The trailer or the bus, right? Trailers. I think the best is trailers. All right. And here it's another one. So what you're going to have? the trailer right here. So they will have counters around two of the sides, right, with the most shade, whichever they are located, right, in the north or south hemisphere, so you have to plan ahead, or you're gonna put the trailer long ways, so you can have shade, natural shade, 
and also the yawning, the synthetic artificial um, covered area. So let's say, oh, this is a covered area. For people, the most interested, people that are already learning English, to be watching proper videos. Okay? And here it's another basic English, for example. All right? So the trailer will be placed here. Okay? With the counter around. So let's say the sun is this way, for example. Okay? All right? Most of the day. Uh, actually, it's the other way around, this way, right? So if you have the sun this way, so you're going to have counters this way and the yawnings. Maybe here and here. I, I went too far for the meeting area. But just for you to have an idea, the trailer will be right there. Okay, so if you have that trailer, all right, the main thing is for this basic English, right? So what else are you going to have? You're going to have the food right there. Give priority to the people that are really interested and in really learning English, okay? So you will have another trailer right here to give priority to these people. So if the sun is here, you're going to have the covering area right here, right? Just, oh, sorry. So here's the, the trailer. So you're going to have the covered area. So let me just put in another color here. The covered area of this trailer, the covered area of that trailer. Okay? All right. For the people to be serving in a shade, right? And then people can sit on a, in a shade in the sun or go under a few trees. All right. So this is the very basic. All right. So going back to the teams, the teams will be start. The teams will start talking about what's priority, what's the main needs, and we will also have people from the city coming, students, university students, university teachers as well, doctors, nurses, dentists, professionals in all areas. All right. So they will be talking about their department, and because each Refugee camp has a different reality, but we are going to do the best we can. All right. The other thing is that with time, you know, with time, for example, here we have all these teams, right? All these groups that in reality will be many more, right? Because some have millions of people, okay? So you will have many more groups, okay? And everyone that has basic English will have priority on these two trailers that I'm talking about. So they will start here a residential community, okay? A new land. So let's say we start this group. And here you have another group, right? So it will be many, but just for some idea. So you have here one trailer for food right so here's the covering and you will have right here another trailer for the videos right and computers okay also with a covered area all right so this group with time will be already planning on how they will live on this area over here, for example, okay? So I just made it quick. You know, a nearby area away from houses right now, you know, so a little somewhere that is possible to start building for this group to move to, okay? And let's give another example of this other group that will be forming and meeting and we'll have all the apartments, they will move to another nearby area to build another new land, okay? So that's how we will start. All right, that's how we will start. So there will be many groups like that with basic English because that's the most important communication, right? We will sing together, but we have to get the people that will be the fastest in learning English. 
because we cannot have other languages as soon as possible because that divide people. So people want to know, oh, I'm from this, I, I have, you know, this language. Oh, so he's from that religion or this culture, or this, and this race or that ethnicity. So we are not friends. So we have to avoid those type of things. And as soon as possible, we speak only English for us to have a better communication. All right. So let's say here is the new land, right? Number one. So that's what they will be talking about the whole time. So and then you're going to use some word. Uh, the peace new land. Okay, for example, one good word. All right, so everything made here will have proper records book, proper pictures taken. The directors will already have cell phones so they can study more. We will have Wi-Fi, okay? All right, so one thing at a time. But as soon as possible for them to learn more, they will already complete, they have to complete their... Um, Paperwork, all right? And here, let's say this area here is the new land, the new land number two. And let's say the name will be kindness or, you know, kindness or happiness or united or, you know, going to choose different words. You can also use good words for uh, special trees, fruit trees, you know, or special something other that is uh, from the region that is it's good, okay? All right, so we are going to have new lands built, okay? So we have right now houses all over right we have thousands millions of tiny houses or you know all over okay so just an example so how we are going to do people will start building these new lands right new lands that will be four ten with time will be really many okay so here's another one and then, for example, here's another one, okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, to um, have uh, water and close the whole huge property. Close it. Because then we will know who we already be living there, who will be there, okay? All right. So, you do that and then... Everything else is already placed in other videos that I have online. Okay? All right. So, the, this new land, for example, as soon as you have proper water, because a study needs to be made before. Okay? So, the new land. And uh, have water water wells, and then you can close the entire property, huge property. You're going to have everything inside, all educational sites, all clinics, and everything else. So let's say this, it's uh, in another city or in another state. So people that will be studying uh, the basic English here, for example, right, is the ones that will be moving to the new land number four, for example. And you're going to have the name of the city or the name of the state they will be moving to. And so on this way, okay? So as soon as this new land is made, they can take out, for example, this tiny, small here, uh, houses, right, that were built in synthetic fabric, those very small houses, uh, refugee camp houses, right? So they already will be taking those things out, and all these people will already be living in another location. And here the same way, they have water every day for everyone, right? They start going 
and come back on the end of the day and stay and live in the same place. So they go and come back. They go and come back. Uh, the, the morning team will go and come back. And then the afternoon team will go and come back. And the same way of this one. This one will walking. will be walking, for example, because it's close by. This, let's say, they need a bus because it's more far away place. It's a location that's more far away. Okay, so here we have people will be walking in the same way. So it's the morning team go and the morning team come back. After a few days, of course, you know, these are steps that I'm already explaining the basics for you to have an idea. Okay, and then the afternoon team, the same way, they walk to go, they walk to come back. Everyone will already be having their... Uh, soon as possible, let's say in two weeks or four weeks, depending what is appropriate, right? But I guess the maximum of four weeks to already have these people walking every day to their own new land. Okay, so what they will be doing? So when they go, they will be working there, right? They will be working. Where it's safe, they will be planting food. So let's say um, this is the area they will be planting food, for example. Okay? And here's the areas where the first buildings will be made, the first apartments. Many, many apartments. All of them in two floors. I'm going to give some examples of apartments built here in my city that are affordable, simple, but good, that family can enjoy. And then, they will be building everything else, as I said before. So they're going to have their pools, clinics, schools, preschools, adult education, university, everything right there. CD offices, okay. When they come back, they're still going back to their own homes, right? The little um, hundreds right, of those little houses, they will be going, coming back the same day, okay, and they will still use this base uh, to eat, they will use this base to prepare some meals to bring, they will use this base for the other half of the day, so a half of the families will work in the morning and study in the afternoon, after these four weeks, starting at these four weeks, and the other half of the families will do the other way around. We will study first and work in the afternoon. Okay, so here is a work first and a study afterwards. And this team will be work, uh, sorry, study first and work after. Okay, just for you to have an idea. So work in the morning, study. This team here and this team the other way around. Study in the morning and work in the afternoon. Okay? So they will be still using their base, their main base. That is the basic English. Remember the one that they just started the first, most, um, the fastest learning. Okay? And also according to their previous practices. But the main points for refugees are to learn English so we can communicate with each other and with people that are coming from other places of the planet. Because remember, we are not going to have only families that already live in refugees here. We are going to have all races of all types, different ethnicities as well, because this is important for us to have different genetics for future generations and a better humanity. We're going to be healthier with this work. All right, so this is the basic uh, two groups I made here, okay? And, um, and let's say this other group here, go to another country. Okay, so... This other new land, so here's a new land, right? So here's a new land. All right, so this will be going to another country. This will be going to another state, another state. And this will be going 
right nearby, okay? Just for you to have an idea. And this here will be going to a nearby city, but they still need the bus, okay? The buses that will be bringing the teens. So, this is another new land, okay? And then we have, for example, this team here will be going home. Will be going, going home. Those are people that want to go back to their own home, their own city. They can do that, you know, if it's already safe for everyone, for them, for the travel. And if the country that they came from, it's already peaceful and order. But they still studying, practicing, studying, practicing right here, okay, with this group, all right? So, those are the people that will be going home. And they also going to be learning, studying lots of English and have outside learning games, jumping ropes, circle games with the children, teens, uh, parents, and elders as well, all right? Okay, so... On these uh, basic places here, we will have the, uh, what you say, the city office documentation. So those trailers we already have. What are those city offices? The city offices that will give to everyone birth certificates and proper marriage certificates, everything official, okay? And... Um, uh, citizenship certificates right away so those people that are going home they don't need that they will have their own documentation but for everyone that's staying on their this country will be doing this paperwork for that country all right so this team here will be going to another country right what they have to do so the this um, uh, basic English basic English center, let's say there will be another word afterward, but they study here, go here, they will already be contacting um, consulates of the countries that people will be going. So they will do the best they can to learn English and be ready to go as soon as airplanes will be available, okay? So basically it's that, my friends. Thank you so much. Okay, so with this basic information, you already can start the work. Now I'm going to uh, say a few words about um, the basic startup teams. And after that, you have all the videos already placed on YouTube. How to start department directors, what everyone, you know, uh, needs to do, requirements. In your case, the main requirement will be English, right? Um, they can learn to read and write afterwards. The main thing is for them to communicate to start with. And of course, after... Uh, two weeks or so, they can start having their proper study notebooks, right? And soon after, in four weeks, when they will be already going to their new lands, they will uh, already have proper classes, okay? All right, so as soon as they start having this morning and afternoon teams, they will be already um, doing their study time. They will be filling up forms, being by the, the trailers with computers, right? And they will already have their notebooks and little um, signs in print size paper that teachers can offer them. Um, little small posters, let's say, to start practicing. And they can also have the videos, right? Uh, in English, as soon as the groups start having half day for work and half day for study. Okay, so we will have the health checkup, that's very important. Start planting the gardens for food 
and uh, start doing all this documentation. Documentation will include the birth certificates, the marriage certificate, the citizenship, and also family registration. So they need to be online, right, with families, people helping them, because some might not know how to read and write, but some might know. So they need to have some tables uh, to receive people that already know how to type or how to, you know, have a little help, but uh, can go ahead and start. And also for people that just will be tables where volunteers will be seated and do for them in the real fast way because they are good typers that will be coming from other countries. You know, because refugees, many refugees camp don't offer computer classes, for example. Okay, so most of them will be registering with these uh, front desks, let's say, document desks, right? That will be a uh, few a few uh, volunteers right there typing typing the best as possible all the families will give the documentation the previous documentation they have they need to bring something and whichever they have they're gonna offer to be registered people registering them will take a picture of the documents that are provided the originals and return to them these trailers also will have um, copy machines and they will have plastic bags um, transparent ba plastic bags for people to put their documents in as soon as possible the other thing is that people can already have their new names their old names will be placed on the same document so old name and new name in the same document and people can they can already present themselves with their new names Okay, the old name we have to keep a little longer, I think for five years or so, right? And then um, let's put four years, I think four years plenty. Four years with this document with the old and new names. And after that, they can already have their new documents with only their new names okay four years will be plenty from that expedition of the, the document expedition day okay so now let's say a few words about the edible gardens and the agroforestry how that will be done just a few words because after that you will already have instructions placed on previous videos that we already posted the first thing will be to have a plan to enrich the soil, right? A plan, a very good plan, okay? That we'll be talking uh, for the area they will be using for, you know, so may, they might help start already in an area for the new land, number one, and then start uh, in land number two, and so on. Okay, and for the new land number four, the new land number five, we are not having new land number three, okay, because that's not needed. And all those uh, w groups, working groups, we already be combining, we will explain uh, which number, um, the group number, will be where they will be going. Remember, I told you. So one might go to a city nearby, the other one might go to another state, the other might be going to another country, and the other one is right there. So each one, so people will already be going, moving, right, with time and in an organized way to attend these groups that will be going to one place or another according to the place they want to go. And also online, will be registration for immigrants from other countries that want to come and live there. You know, they want to help, they want their students or their professionals in different areas or because they know English or because they, they are engineers 
or because they are good with a, a well, water well drilling. So there will be professionals coming, right? And uh, builders in different ways, plumbers, ele electric uh, uh, professionals for solar panels, solar panels, installation, and everything else. I'm just giving some ideas, okay? All right, so online for immigrants, they will already place. So um, the same way we do hiring, right? So you're going to be basically the same way. We have openings for, and then the first thing people are going to um, see are the professionals that still need it because that's your priority, right? Because you cannot receive people from other countries uh, from other cities, from other refugee camps, while you're not, you don't have even the, the basic organized. But the professionals can already come. They will be living in those um, places as soon as uh, they have these tents available for them to live with their family. So as soon as those families that are moving for other countries that will be staying, for example, in hotels, or in, uh, in churches, in gymnasiums, in auditoriums, right? As soon as they will be leaving the refugee camps, you can already receive the families, general families um, uh, as well, all right? But focus on the professionals you need, those people that will be department directors, people that are really capable in each of those areas. And of course, all their assistants. For example, if you have a department director of the whole uh, new land, because that's how you start, right? Eventually will be a, a big city, will be the mayor eventually, right? So those 10 department directors, we will start as, as department directors, but afterwards, one of them will be the city mayor, one of them will be the county mayor, because we do not want huge, huge lands anymore. Okay? We are going to focus on having um, new lands that are big, but not huge, such as, you know, like some refugee camps have millions of people. We are working to to be more sustainable. And everything else, it's already posted on videos. All residential communities will be based on having about 240 apartments in two floors and buildings that will have um, eight, I think eight is sustainable, eight apartments, no more than eight, because then it will be too big, you know, it's, it's not good as well. Corridors will be too long, so we have to focus on that. Have four apartments or eight, okay? I think we can do in a sustainable way to have eight apartments. But for four apartments, for sure. So we will have the templates all placed online. The engineer needs to just focus on the base to be really firm and with all details asked at this basic information that will be placed at our website. And after that, for everything else, for materials, for everything else, we already be listed. They just have to order, see where the materials are coming from, and have their assistants helping them. Okay, so families will be living, you know, by thousands of them. And um, for those that won't be building nearby that um, can be reachable by bus, they will already take their airplane and go, right? To this new country, this new location, or even another state, they take their airplane and go. All right, the other thing that you will need is the... Um, all these educational... Uh, groups, right, for preschools, schools, adult education, university, to have great, awesome teachers, because that's really, really important, okay? 
The other thing is that for the department directors of community gardens and agroforestry, with the department director number one, that's for the clean water and peace, uh, they have to work on where the agroforestries will be placed, not only according to the sun location, but also according to the geologic study of the area, where um, might be the most uh, positive way to have uh, springs, streams coming in a few years. So they have to make a study. They will be in contact with the organization, headquarters, assistant teams for the new lands that will be placed for all different departments in a university nearby. They will be the helping team to get all this information properly listed. Which trees will be planted with this purpose? So the best as possible in a few years, in one decade or so, we're going to start having water. Little springs here and there, you know, depend on the location they are, of course. But it's very important for us to focus that. And then in 20 years, more, you know, so we have to make this plan. This is very important. All right, so... Now let's say a few words about the department directors I did already mention. So the Clean Water and Peace, Department 1 already said a few words. The Department of Family and Producers already said a few words. And they also will be working to have their uh, commercial plazas and uh, producing plazas, areas where people are going to be working, some right there where they sell, it's okay. The social assistant team, number three, they're going to be working as well, registering people, doing documentation, whichever is needed for each new land. The document, uh, the department number four, that will be doing documentation, have the deed, right, because that uh, contact with, they will have contact with their main country, right? They will be a new city there, a new county there. But they have to, they need proper contact with the, um, the main government, right? The city offices in town. And then uh, for permits and everything, uh, to make sure everything is done properly, the department number five already said some words about community gardens agroforestry. Department seven's construction already said a few words for the engineering plan and also for this plan for agroforestry. Department uh, number six for health already said a few words and as soon as possible start attending people with these buses. Um, not buses, sorry, these trailers, right, attending people on these trailers, and as soon as possible to have the clubhouses, right, built, and clinics. Um, uh, for, for health will be the clinics, and for construction will be the clubhouses. As soon as possible, we have to do this clubhouses very soon, so people can start having meetings, with proper shade, put the AC on if the heat is really, you know, getting summer soon, right? It's going to be really, really hot and, um, and start um, everything else. The clubhouse will have kitchens and going to start offering food. We also have some picnic tables outside and everything else. Some covering areas to eat. So... The construction team needs to build the clubhouses as soon as possible, all right, and get it done. And at the mainlands, so will be first the water, they have water, okay, and uh, everything going to start simu simultaneously, actually, right? So they have the water, first the camera, remember the first visit, they come with the cameras, and then they have... Uh, the first people check in the area, get the deeds, and so on. 
and after that will come the big land walls. That's very important. Will be uh, sliding, uh, big sliding boards, concrete boards that will be attached to columns. So they will already, so people have an idea about their land and we'll be building all the residential communities there, you know, about four or so, to be reasonable. We are not making four because that's not needed. And a clinic for everyone, schools, universities, preschools, adult education for everyone, right? Everything else. But basically, will be four residential communities of about 204 departments. Okay, so the department number eight of education, you know, so the teachers will be already teaching their different ages right there in nature and then soon as possible in covered areas at the clubhouse. Department number nine will be for patrimony and treasury. So they will be checking all the money that is sent, what money is used, being used. They will be also holding all the receipts, even that they were free, because after the organization launching, everything going to be free. But they need to keep records of everything, okay? So they will keep all the receipts, all the information, so on. And the department number 10, that will be the technology and security, okay? So what they will be doing? The technology and security will be in charge of the computers, have Wi-Fi, and as soon as the clubhouse will be open, have Wi-Fi at the clubhouse and not on trailers anymore and everything else. So they will also have Wi-Fi at the schools, the clinics, as soon as they start opening up. And before they open, they're going to be using those trailers. All right. The security team will also be in charge of everything that's related to security. Be checking cameras every single day. They have to focus, and when they leave for their break, someone else needs to be there. Okay? And they have people checking themselves. Other security guards checking themselves. That's very important. Okay? So we have two people checking everyone. Because that's the only way this can really work. All right? So, my friends, here's the basic information for all the department directors, these 10 couples that we need to be the best one for each one. For each area. Because that will be a real gift, my friends. And remember, we'll be the best person, right, from each group that starts to form okay now let's say a few words about the university that's nearby that will have the headquarters assistant teams so this university with teachers and students will make the big main plan for that area and those university students and teachers we also have people from other countries checking on their, their project, you know, to approve that. So we won't have just uh, people from the area to approve those sites because those sites will be huge, right? It will be really big. It will be many new lands right there because we have to use this land that's already being used. People already are there. Okay, even that many will be moving from one place to another. Okay, so the assigned nearby university will be in charge of making this big, big plan. This big plan. Okay, so the other thing is that for each um, big refugee camp, right, that already have this huge lands, we will have four universities. I think that's a good way. So we'll have um, uh, four universities with professionals to, to check and to offer suggestions um, uh, for those new lands. And let's say from different continents, because then this way we will have real different points of view that will be 
uh, working together to have this main plan. Just the basic main plan, okay? All right, so this nearby university will invite three other universities, so there will be a total of four universities working on that. And um, for each of the areas needed, uh, basically is the construction and agroforestry because that's our basic need. For everything else, we can make it happen. So we will have professionals from the um, construction, right? Proper engineers giving opinions and also in the area of community gardens and agroforestry. That we can even include geologists and uh, people in this area for water um, intake, right? For water wells. So where they can stay that will have water all year round? Because we don't have, we have to remember, we don't have um, at this time... Um, many agroforestries yet so it will take some years right for us to build these agroforestries in a sustainable way for us to have some springs coming up start to come with the years okay so um, we need geologists and everyone else in the area to have proper studies and documentation for this proposal okay and then they will send to the headquarters for evaluation and they can start as soon as approved. Okay, so now let's say a few words of things that the refugee camps are already receiving, such as food, water, medication and education. So I'm going to say a few words on how we are going to work with each of those items. So for food and water, people that are already giving those things to them, such as organizations, right, the government, whichever they already have, will continue exactly the same until the organization will already be offering those items. As soon as we have some people that are willing to lead this program, being people that already work there or people that already volunteer there and residents that already live there and citizens from other countries that are willing to move, we are going to, to send the money they need um, or already they can already start contacting all their uh, all the places needed to have those items okay for medication in the same way as soon as we start our program and education uh, for medication people will continue to have the clinic attendance and have our trailers as soon as they're available, okay? And uh, the medication will be offered by the organization, such as uh, uh, for everything they need, okay? And the education will start as soon as we have volunteers on site that knows English to start teaching them simple songs um, about those uh, greetings, and also about uh, days of the week, numbers until 20, right? Uh, months of the year and fruits and veggies, right? The basic, most basic 20 fruits and veggies. I think those are basic uh, classes and many people can already um, know those basic English to start teaching others. Those ten department director couples will also be um, chosen by their previous and present practices. It's not only because of their knowledge, okay? So if they have good knowledge, they're going to be assistant. But the main ones will be the best in everything, knowledge and also 
trust by the organization according to their previous practices. The peace points that we're talking about. And as soon as families will be having their own cell phones, they have to start also learning, have basic classes to learn about them. And in four days or so, a week, they will already, it's mandatory for them to start putting their peace app points, uh, registering their points. Because about a week of study, that will be enough for the parents to, to learn about how to use and check the peace app points each day and also once a week for main items. All right, so now let's say a few words about those different groups. Remember, we have different groups, right? Those that are going to have their new lands right there, those that are going to another country, those that are going to another state nearby. Okay, so you're going to register people, you know, give assigned days for separate groups to start with. Okay, so if you have, remember that, um, I, I think I'm going to explain this with the paper so you can have that idea. Okay, so I'm going to explain now how will be the registration for the families. Okay, so if one day um, those trailers here, that can be two or four, you know, this base, it's attending people from here. As soon as they finish this group, on the other week, they're going to be attending people from this group. Why is that? Because so everyone will be combined. And here, for example, they're attending first their group for one whole week. You know, the documentation, family registration, and everything else. On the other week, they are going to focus on people, for example, that are going to a new country and have specific videos for each one, you know, where they're going, how they're going, uh, which documents they need from here, which documents they need from their own country. So they will focus the whole week on this other team, all right? And like this, keep going, all right? And then on... And, you know, each week they're going to be attending the groups because we're going to need many sets like that, right? But they're going to attend different people. And I think in about four weeks, everyone already had their turn for documentation needed. I think this way is the most sustainable. If it's already possible... As soon as the group start going to the new lands, then they can attend one whole group in the morning and one whole group in the afternoon. That's another way. Because I'm not, i uh, never done this before, right? So we are just doing the best we can with op op possibilities that we work. So if they focus in one group at a time, I think it's the best because they will show the video that's the most important about the place that we will be going, right, with basic information, so they're well prepared. And, of course, everyone needs to do their uh, online registration. So we need those volunteers sitting at these sign-up tables the whole day. They're going to take turns, right? They can do, for example, uh, they can do some learning games and come back, but they can work the whole day if it's possible, you know, and, uh, and need to be people that can type fast and understand, of course, understand their language, okay, and understand English. Or we can do the, the sign-ups on their language, and then the computer will change the language afterwards of their uh, work. Okay, so on this first moment, it's not needed for people to do their paper registration. The main thing is just to have them online, all right? What they're going to do is just a simple form with their family. But the complete paperwork that we have to keep for future years is going to be done soon after. 
because we need more tables, we need more paper printed and pens and time, right? So for now, just to prove they are who they are saying, I think maybe one, one page I think is not enough. I think maybe two pages, yes, two printed pages on both sides, I think that will be planted, plenty. So with their basic information, their old names, the proposal for their new names, okay? So these four pages, uh, two pages and printed on both sides, right? Uh, two sheets and printed on both sides. We will also have information like who answer those, who fill out those answers because some people i believe they don't know how to write and uh, so maybe an older um, son or daughter or the spouse who is the person filling out that application form the other thing we need it's people available volunteers available from nearby universities that will be helping to fill out those forms for those that cannot fill out yet. And they have to practice at least uh, answer their names and the location they are. You know, the proper address of this refugee camp, a complete address. They have to copy from somewhere the best as possible, okay? And we also will have the team for fingerprinting, for pictures, right? Everything else is already posted at our YouTube videos. Different videos for everything. And as soon as we have our organization launching day, all these videos will be placed there, right? The links for people to go to the right places, but with the new videos already made that won't be so long as those ones, because those ones I'm making as I'm talking to you, I'm making right now, but on, on the videos that will be having the links available at the website will be already added with images, everything already, you know, with proper um, um, uh, signs, right, information, written information, and they will already be added, let's say, for everything. They also will have all the information written in case anyone needs to, to, to look better, study, okay? All right. And on a search button, you know that every website, uh, most of the websites have that, the search button, the people can search by sentence, by words. They can make the regular search in the same way they do for Google, right? Google search. So for the website, they can find anything that they need uh, searching up that way as well. Or they can click on different departments. Different departments will have the main titles, um, by the importance, right? The main titles. And then every subtitle will be in alphabetical order. I think that's the most sustainable uh, for us to have for these 28 weeks. Okay. And we also will have uh, two separate um, information for everything. One is the everything related to the 28 volunteer weeks. And the other one is everything related to the international constitution with all details that we are going to have for all future centuries and millenniums. So, of course, our main focus now is the 28 weeks. Everyone will be studying only about the 28 weeks and people on their free time, they can have a look on the real uh, international constitution as will be available because we're gonna edit everything anyways if needed okay during these 28 weeks we can edit go back improve all right so the way we are finding the most sustainable 
for the for editing videos is instead of changing the middle of the video about the subject will be placed afterwards will be added afterwards so people will be sure that um, you know uh, and clear for everyone during this 28 weeks oh that video has a, an update so it will be added at the end of those videos for everything for health for education i think that's the best in the same way for the written part okay so any addition instead of we add information Oh, no, no. For the written part, we can do different. We can add as a highlighter. So everything that will be highlighted in yellow, for example, I think that's a bright color, easy to see, will be the edited new sentences. Okay, my friends. So I think we're doing really great. Okay. So we already talked about updates for videos, updates for written information for the handbooks. Okay, so um, at the end of these 28 weeks, we are going to print the final version, right? The final approved version for every educational site, for government offices, right? Also residential communities, they have a mini library, they are going to have a copy. Um, also for business and of all types and production areas, like uh, commercial plazas and production plazas, right? So everyone will have this International Constitution Royal Blue Book. And, and that is the main authority for every site of all types. So, the authority, for example, of a school, right? We have the principal, but we also have the 10 department, the principal, the, the secretary, right? We have all these people there. We have very important teachers, right? But the main authority for everyone is the book, okay? Is the book. They go there. They check and they find the answer, the final decision for everything that's needed or they find the information that's needed, okay? All right. All right, so now let's say a few words about documentation. So, for parents that have um, children that were not born... Um, on their own country so they, they 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 flee with the parents right they just can say where they came from you know and the best as they remember the city the address they used to have if they can offer this information because some people are in refugee camps for many many years okay so everyone will be giving the information the best as possible it's important for us to tell them that they have to be 100% honest with everything, every information they give. Because with those being honest, they get points. That's important for them, the peace points. Okay, so, and for every child that was born at uh, the camp, right, the refugee camp they are located, so they will already say, you know, birth certificate from that place, that place. In four years, when everything will be, um, will be already um, past this time with old names and new names, so they can come and just have the new official new name, not the old anymore, because that's plenty of time. We might go to two years. Because why we are having this uh, time? Because, you know, people know other people and some people are not on places they used to live anymore. So for us, in case we need to go back and have track, uh, have information, I mean, of those families that moved. Because we need previous records from everyone. That's very important. Have some basic information. Okay? All right. Online, 
People also need to fill up the information about their previous religions they used to practice or not, previous cultural um, things they used to do or not, if they, uh, friends they have, best friends they have, family, because some people are not with family anymore or they don't want to stay with family anymore. Some people... Um, might move to other places and start a new life, okay? But uh, we need information. So, name of parents, siblings, neighbors used to have. And it's very important for people to fill out everything the best as possible, as I said before. So, those uh, trailers, while filling up application forms, can also go on Google Maps to help people to, to remember their address. That's one of the ideas as well. They can do that. Not on this first moment, but afterwards. So at least the name of the street they need, right? The, the street, the city, that's mandatory. They need to have that. So as soon as they can, they're already going to be calling all those families to answer these details. For people that are going to other countries, they have to fill out all this information before they move. So we will have the basic information there. All right, so now let's say a few words about health and immune system. Okay, before immune system, let's say a few more words about documentation. So people, everyone will be filling out paperwork online and on paper. Okay, so we have people that um, want to divorce, they can do right at the moment. If they have any situation of being afraid of previous partners because of this request, they can find a way in, uh, uh, to tell someone that they want to do that. So... Um, and people will be helping them the best way as possible. So the first option is for them to stay with their husband, you know, and pretend. And then as soon as they get all the information, all the paperwork, and the team will be going, you know, the other team, assigned team, will be going to another country, another state, and then they will live with them on that day. So they will be you know, without any problems. The other way, if they are not afraid of their husbands, for example, because they were treating um, uh, them, you know, but they don't want them, in, uh, treating them well, but they don't want them anymore, that's fine. They will already tell their partner. Okay, so that's the two ways people can get divorced. Everyone can get divorced and renew life. Because we know that in some cultures, the male has too much power over the females, over their wives. And this is not good, not positive, okay? So every wife that are willing to get divorced, they can do these two ways. Tell them right away and be strong if they're safe, of course, depends. Because some of them have no idea on what the spouse can do, the husband can do, knowing that information, right? So they can keep going, going, and then they get, of course, the woman keep the kids. The woman keep, with rare exception, the woman kid keep the kids, the children and teens, and leave to the other country when it's already the day the bus is coming to pick them up to bring them straight to the airport. All right. For those that... Um, um, for a woman to don't have their children teens only if they were really bad, okay, with their practice, and also only if the father was really the good one, okay? So that can happen, and that will be said. All right, on the videos we are showing the population, we will explain these two options to everyone. So the males and females, will, the, the spouses, we already know about these two options, pretending or telling them right away and being honest, okay? 
Why is that? Because the male, if they are to, if they have any question, they might talk to their spouse, ask something or say something, you know, and we will already have some um, information about that couple. Okay, they talk about, they didn't talk about, and if any moment someone is in danger, they will move to another far away group. Okay, or already send that, um, uh, not send because we can't send to hotels until they finish paperwork. But anyways, we'll be working the best way as possible. All right, so now about documentation still, Let's say a few words about people that will be leaving young adults that are not staying with their parents. Either the parents are moving out of the, that area or not. So for those young adults, if they, are, um, at, they have to be at least 22 years old, okay, and do their proper paperwork, and everything. And then, if they're going to another state, another country, they will move and um, um, with the whole group, as the whole group will be moving or start construction right there. These young adults will be already, they can have one week or so with their previous family and they can already move to join the group that they will be staying with, okay? All right, wherever they want, that's okay. They can have the spouse with them already, or they can wait and meet a spouse at their new location, because some of them might be going to another country, okay, and they can meet someone, um, someone else. The main thing for everyone from 22 to 28 years old, if they don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend that they really love, is to already have someone of the opposite sex, okay, the opposite gender, because that's very important for us to already have those couples if they can have children or if they cannot have children, because some of them might have children already. Some of them might be adopting children if they have positive previous practices. Okay? All right. So, for everyone 22 to 28 years old. All right? Um, but if they already have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a spouse, of course, if they really love them and really want to be with them, that's okay, they can be. So when they are doing the application form, we will use the same way as we are using for divorced couples. For those that are already living together, right, like husband and wives or boyfriends and girlfriends, to do the same. They can already be honest and say they want to, to get separated, they don't want to be together anymore, or they pretend until the last day and they will be informed the night before or right in the morning when they're having breakfast so they can take the bus and go safely. All right? Okay. And for each one of these people that find that it's uh, safer for them to pretend and leave right on the, uh, that moment, um, uh, the people, the volunteers that will be working with this uh, woman needs to already arrange some kind of way because families will be together all the time, right? Um, you know, when they eat together, they do classes together. So it, it, it needs to be something easy. So each woman going to have a code that uh, the volunteers will be talking to them in the best way as possible. Might be tapping their shoulder, you know, and so they already know the night before that in the morning they're going to be leaving with the bus or they already go straight to the bus where the bus will be located and um, 
uh, details like that. So they have to plan ahead uh, for that. So when someone gonna tap or tap their back or look different or you know raise their eyebrow, you know, because that is easier. It needs to be something that um, the security guards won't tell anyone. So we need very good honest security guards to don't tell those males, right, those husbands. Um, and also for, for the ladies to, to, to know. So it needs to find a way. All right. So the best way, it's um, uh, soon after maybe two weeks or so, right, for at the schools or at the bathrooms or when they are uh, washing clothes together, the laundry, outside the laundry room or planting gardens. You need to find a way for them to be talking and having this code, okay? All right. Okay, so now let's say a few words about clothes style and other practices we need right away. Soon as they start having this first video, you know what they need to have. All right, clothes style, gonna be respectful and as done on the Occident countries, on the Americas in general, okay? So we are not going to have any face covering, head covering, or even the nose and mouth covering, or these long black dresses, anything like that. So as soon as clothes start to arrive, people will already be using them, okay? In a safe way. So we need a lot of uh, pants, we need a lot of uh, shorts by the knee, for males and females, because it's not really sustained, they're going to be planting a lot, it's not really sustainable to have right away um, um, big dresses, right, long dresses until the floor. But we can already, but not too long as touching the floor, okay, but can be a little bit after the, the knee, a little lower than the knee height. So, on the lower line of the knee, maybe 10 centimeters or so, I think that's reasonable, because then we still have 20 or 30 centimeters to reach the ground. So, that's reasonable for many, uh, for different age groups. We are not offering dresses to any child up to um, 20 years old. They can already wear pants or shorts. Okay, because that's reasonable, that is um, sustainable, um, because we're going to be planting, working, construction sites, and all these things. Okay, so the other thing that they have to start doing right away are having the morning circles. The morning circles are for people to to hold hands together and a few fabrics if they have already bring white fabric to be uh, waving right in the morning so they sing four songs every single morning they're gonna sing four songs okay uh, organization songs and after that they're going to have their class okay that our class so, for people that did not have, uh, no, no, sorry. The class is for everyone. All radio stations are going to work at the same time, from 7 to 7.50, uh, I think is reasonable, right? Um, no. The whole hour for the radio information. And after that, people will be talking about that hour they listen. So, this video I'm making right now is just um, for the morning hours, right? They can have an hour, then they can have the other hour. Will be, hopefully, will be already edited as soon as possible, so you can already offer the edited um, version to them. So, they have an hour, talk about. They have an hour, talk about. Okay? And for the whole day, we will have a plan, with all those details. 
All right. So hopefully we will have this video organized. So for every hour that they will be listening to, they will already have the proposal for what they have to sit down and talk about. The other thing is that schools in refugee camps can be already used for those meetings. People can sit on chairs and extra people can sit on floors as soon as they have good ventilation that will be fine okay and um, regular school teaching will be canceled for them as soon as we have volunteers on site so we will start having inside hours and outside hours outside hours uh, will be because everything will be for families. We are not having during during this transition time. We are not having classes for age, different age groups. Okay, at least for these four first four weeks, we are not having that. Every the whole family will be together at all times, so they have the right information. They will be talking on the right groups they want to be, and so on. Okay, so the families will be gathering and spending the whole day. And then, as uh, soon as possible, in two or four weeks, they will already have um, morning time, uh, sorry, work hours, work period, right, and study time, okay? So, until this construction site will start, uh, everything will be study time and planning time. Study English, right? And some basic information about nutrition and health and immune system. And then the planning time that will already be the work hours, okay? Now let's say a few words about the um, health clinics. All right. So, as I said, as soon as our volunteers start to arrive with our medication, we will already be making the necessary transition with proper explanation. And people will start having more plants and um, plant powders and vitamins and everything that we can already offer to boost the immune system, and also to already be checking their health. So we will have tests according to all tests we need, um, TB, tuberculosis, HIV, um, rubella, mums, and uh, everything else, okay? So all the tests they will be having. The basic most basic for everyone to do right away is the urine test for everything that can be done with urine. And soon after, as uh, the labs, um, not the labs, the collection area, collection room will be available, and then they will be taking the blood for other tests that need to have the blood. All right, so, but for that, we're going to wait until we're really... Uh, capable of offering that you know the places are really clean very hygienic and start with the ones that are sicker or you know the ones that need the most at that time for one reason or another and those that are going to other countries other states it's very important for them to be uh, ready with those exams as soon as possible because they are going to be exposed to other viruses of the civilization, other uh, groups in different places, okay? All right, so the other thing is that for very elders or for very unhealthy, they cannot go to other countries or states that are too far away. Somehow they're going to be on that region until they get stronger, healthier, or for those 10 years. To avoid them to die, because for anyone that's not really healthy or not really strong, 
uh, or they don't have their immune system too strong, we don't want them to expose themselves to big cities with a lot of virus, different bacteria, and so on. Okay, that they are not used to, even that they have a strong immune system. So this is very important. Okay, so everyone will also be learning about nutrition and workout. Okay, so everyone will start before four, seven o'clock. Some people can already be running if it's daytime. Some other people can run right on that first uh, or second break of coffee. Okay, so, for example, we are going to indicate that um, after the first video, every group, uh, odd number group, will be running first, right? That 40 minutes or so, because we need, or 20, we can start with 20 minutes. And then, after the second video, for example, everyone for the even number group, Groups will be running 20 minutes. All right. So because it's good to run in the morning while it's still fresh, right? Not uh, too hot yet. So this will be very good. All right. So the other thing is that for learning games, the, the, the families will be learning them. And parents can also jump ropes and things like that because we want families to be together. For everyone to know that moving in knows who the families are, who belongs to who. Oh, those children, those parents, so they start knowing because they're going to live together eventually, right? People that are in different groups. Okay, so the other thing, it's for the family day. On the family day, we are going uh, Sundays, right? We are going to have different activities offered to everyone. So it can be games, can be um, rest, right? People can rest. Some people can uh, watch more videos if they want. Some people can have the family games. So those are the basic uh, things that they can do right there. And people that are moving out can say farewell, so they can have some, uh, let's say for this word, a community gathering, right? A community gathering. And uh, say farewell, they live together for many years, right? So those are the options. They can be done in the morning, um, and um, I think morning, right? Morning or afternoon. So let's do this way. Families uh, will be gathering. Yeah, so we can do that. Oh, sorry. sorry. So every family will choose. The whole morning they can have activities and the whole afternoon they can have their own family meeting. All right. So this, it's for all people in odd numbers, odd num groups of odd numbers. All right. And for people with groups on the even numbers, they will do the opposite way. They will have the games and farewell gatherings in the afternoon and in the morning, they will have their meetings. So I think that's reasonable. So not everyone will be playing games and then everyone going to be inside the houses. So they can share. Okay? On this Sunday, um, outside activity, right, for the, the games and gathering, we can also have some videos uh, with images about the new land like uh, special things they can see, right? Or even a movie, okay, that can be repeated over and over for different families to be attending, all right? At those same trailers that we have the regular videos, on, on um, 
Saturday afternoon and Sunday, we can also have that option for people to have an idea about how the new lands will be done. Uh, like, you know, uh, many residential communities already have those images. So we are already going to put some of the templates. And then after a few weeks, as soon as they decide exactly which template they are going to use on that for each camp, and we already will showing them. You know, even for uh, different residential communities, will be one color, another color, okay, outside paint uh, will be different, so they can also start choosing, and, and they can uh, change during these four weeks. Until they really uh, register, they can change the groups. They can walk around, have ideas, so they feel comfortable. They feel happy about the group they are choosing because they're going to live together for 10 years. So it's important. If someone wants to change, it's okay. During these four weeks, it's really reasonable. After that, I think it's important for us to have more criteria only if it's really, really needed and only for four more weeks. That's it. Okay? Because then we don't have changes anymore. Then it's already decided and um, everyone moving to other locations will be already in other places. Okay? As the weeks keep passing, it's also important for us to offer the special family days, okay, because they are going to be exhausted for now. But let's say after the, the about the 20th week or so, okay, they, according to their peace app points, you know, we found family, education, community practices, with everything, right? They're going to be able to go to where? To state parks, to national parks, to a river nearby to have fun, and to a beach, whichever they have close by. So, for example, people that are in refugee camps in Uganda and Kenya they have the east coast of Africa. They easily can get a bus really early in the morning and come back um, the next day, for example, and stay in hotels there. Okay, so they would leave um, Saturday really early. The other thing they can do is also to leave Friday afternoon. So, on that specific Friday, for those specific people that are the best, you know, really learning, really working, really doing the best they can in all areas, helping others, helping themselves, being polite, respectful. Okay, so they can leave uh, Friday evening, for example... Um, about 4 or 5 o'clock, and I'm sure they can still go to the hotel. They're not leaving uh, to walk in a city at night, but they can arrive at the hotel, and the drivers will stay with them the whole time, and then they can go enjoy the beach um, during the morning, for example, or the hotels are right there by the beach. They can walk, uh, whichever is the opportunity. And also to state, national parks, uh, county parks of nearby cities, um, and uh, city parks. Okay, so we have four different parks and also water opportunities, such as rivers that are safe to swim. All right. Okay, so those people are those that are really learning a lot, practicing a lot, and really deserve with points. So... We might uh, be able to do even on the 10th week, you know, after 10 weeks of work. And once we, can, we, once we start, we are going to have, for example, every week or every other week, and then go that group of bus. I think every week in smaller groups, I think is more sustainable. So I'm putting here my note, maybe even from the 10th 
week on to start that because um, it will take about uh, two months, right, um, and a little, a few more days, for us to to know about people and make sure because it doesn't help only to to be good at that, that time. We need some research and proper documentation of what people were doing before and um, count previous points with present points for them to deserve these great opportunities. And for the people that will be going to these families weekends, right, family fun weekends, they also need to have proper uh, information about this trip with some images and detailed information how to be on hotels, what they have to do, and how to arrive, how to live with everything clean and organized, right? So all these details that are part of our practices. Um, and any information, time in the bus, um, you know, the time they will be leaving, the time they will be coming back, and all these details. And we will also have boat parades, right? We will have boat parades on the special organization days, right? The organization launching day, and we have a boat parade at the end of our 28 weeks. So those special days are many days. We have what coming up now? We have Mother's Day, then we have Father's Day, we have Family Day in November, and then we have the end of the 28 weeks. So, families we also choose which of these places they want to go. So, let's say we have four buses, right, uh, for I don't know how many people. But those four buses, every weekend, they will be going to different places, bringing different families. So, everyone will have the opportunity. Not only the very best ones, but everyone that will be having effort according, of course, to their age and capacities. Because some people of diff of same age, they were exposed to very different backgrounds, such as education. Some really study a lot, and some never study. So depending. You know, people that live in camps or people that are coming from other countries that are, were already great in English and in computer and all these things. So we need a balance of people that will be arriving there and people that already live there according to their capacities and not to the test, like a test that a grade is given because we cannot compare um, as I said, families that will be arriving to help that already um, are experts in many different things. Okay, so we need to balance out. For the immune system, that we're going to have a video explaining all these details to them and maybe even four videos uh, with different phases of the work. So for first, they will have everything that's available right there, right? from vitamins, fruits, vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables, from capsules that are good to boost their immune system the best as possible, as I already said. And then families will start arriving once they also have this basic preparation before they move to somewhere like refugee camps, right? Also in the best way. But everybody will be working out and and I'm sure everything will be good for this transitional time. Okay, so the other thing is that um, for families that, that have elders, they need to be together. We are not leaving elders by themselves, so it's really important. So every elder that's 60 years old, marry or not, they will stay together, okay? They will stay together because that's very important. All right. So for everyone that's younger, they can go with their family or they can renew life in another place, that's fine. 
uh, but for the main couple, they cannot leave their parents or grandparents behind. They have to register them and stay at the same location that they will decide together. The other thing that actually is part of another video, but I already gonna say here so I don't forget, uh, for these 28 weeks, you know, everywhere that will have heaters and air conditioning, the priority will be to attend the elders of the house. Everyone that is uh, 65 years old and above. Why is that? Because some people never had AC before and they might not feel confident feel good using it, but let's say it's mandatory on the country that they just arrived because it's very humid, for example. They have to turn on the AC during the day or at night. So if it's mandatory to have the AC on for those amount of hours that we're still um, thinking how much is the minimum to dry out the house, so what will be done? And they have the priority. For example, they will say, oh, I'd rather have the AC when I'm sleeping. Or I'd rather have the AC when we are out of the house, at schools, you know, educational sites, so the house will be properly dry when they are not there. After the 28 weeks, because all the elders, we already um, have this transition time, uh, the decision will be for the parents because that is what is important. Every uh, leading uh, situation be placed for the main couple of the house, the married couple, okay? And not for the grandparents. Okay, so I think we are very good with immune system. And on those videos, we'll be explaining and teaching them with images about everything they have at their own region, uh, foods, and also healing plants, right? Roots, herbs that can be used to boost the immune system and also for general health. Going back to the family um, special weekends, right? That can be done to the four different parks or to the water, water locations. Uh, we also gonna have teams that can sign up for those boat parades, as I said. And um, we will see also about points, how we can do that, because um, people can also go a day before, right? And already be at those locations. We will do the best we can to have uh, countries such as United States that do have too many boats already made to transfer them and bring them to all those countries that might have almost none, okay? So we are going to check and share boats with all the countries, also in Africa and Asia. So for everyone to be able to have these opportunities of enjoying um, um, rivers, enjoying ocean, enjoying boat parades. Okay? All right. So we will have sustainable, positive, great, wonderful days together. <laughs> for a river to be approved for those family days. Um, they need to pass all the examination, water test, and also for animals present there to make sure it's safe. No crocodiles, no alligators, depend on the region they are to make sure they're safe. So they can only plan fun days at rivers if that river it's already approved for swimming by the organization and not by other places. Because some uh, countries, they don't have proper regulations for that. People just go, get their cars, go, and then they're there. 
and they don't even have information on stingrays, for example, or in some other countries might be alligators, right? Or even crocodiles. So we, uh, they can only plan and start going after the information is placed on the new websites. Every county will have a website, right? So only when they're approved and placed on this new website. Okay? All right? So we're doing great. Okay, so let's say just a few words about um, the refugee camps in Turkey, for example. So they're still in a good range to keep the land and make new lands there. Yes, they can do because it's still kind of uh, possible to plant food and so on. But for those in Germany, and uh, in the same way, of course, that from all Europe countries, they are ready. They already can be thinking where they're going to move because some, uh, the central Europe, um, they're already cold. It's not really warm, so people can already move. Okay, um, so basically it's that. Um, I hope this was really helpful and uh, clear, okay? And as soon as possible, we will be having our new edited videos. Okay, so now I'm going to say a few words about the refugee vehicles. So... Um, they might have a few, and we will make sure they have a few others. So they will have these trailers that are dropped out until the clubhouse is made. The clubhouse uh, will also include the meeting, big meeting room, the mini library, the kitchen, right? All these things that are important for everyone. And also... Uh, some bathrooms, right? So people will be already using them. And as the days continue, you know, the buildings will be start, uh, the, the residential buildings will uh, be built, and also um, commercial plazas, production plazas, and so on. So on the, about buildings still, we are going to have the buses, those buses that go every weekend out. I think four buses, I think, is sustainable, right? Um, not for millions of people, uh, for all camps, but for a specific area of each camp, okay? And then we will say for how many, um, a hundred of people, how many thousands, I guess, uh, for for buses, for how many thousands, we're going to say, give that information afterwards. And they can go, come back, go, come back. The first few trips, I think, is reasonable. We can even do two teams. One, we'll spend the whole Saturday, right? One uh, Sunday team, sorry. Family Sunday team. So one will be out the whole Saturday, and one will be out the whole Sunday. So we can start having these families to have activities, get out of there, you know, in small trips first. I think that's really sustainable. So they can leave really early in the morning, even they can leave uh, uh, 5 o'clock, right? Be ready at the bus and, you know, um, drive for an hour or so, one or two hours, then they are at this location they have chosen. If it's a state park, of course, they have to wait for the state park to open because it will be weekends, right? So they do not open at 7 o'clock. They will be open only at 8 o'clock. Okay, so the buses will go with some drivers on Saturday morning, come back in the evening. On Sunday, we'll bring another team, another fam other families early in the morning and bring them back Sunday evening. All right. So, after um, uh, many weeks, and uh, maybe even uh, after, only after the 20 weeks, we're going to let you know afterwards, that we're going to have this whole weekend thing, um, hotel days. 
because if we have two teams, because once they have millions of people there, right, will be sustainable until we train more drivers and things like that. Okay, so that's already decided, all right? We are not going to have long weekends during the 28 weeks. We are only going to have Saturday teams go and come back and Sunday teams go and come back on the same day. So also continue to talk about um, vehicles at the refugee um, lands. We also need some trucks, right, to be bringing construction items over and over. And they go, pick up, come back over and over. So we need those trucks, right? And we need some tractors, uh, small tractors to aerate the soil um, of all land that will be planted, the edible gardens, the agroforestry, right? So they will be aerating the soil and also mixing the media needed, the media that they got, you know, if it's mulch or if it's hay, what they got. According to the country they are, they will have a different media to be mixed. So those small truck tractors uh, will be irating the soil over and over, mixing, mixing, you know, again and again. And then we need water trucks, right? We need water trucks that can go to nearby rivers to pick up the water every day to water those plants that will already be planted, okay? And uh, so basically it's that. And we also will have, um, I think, maybe uh, two regular cars, right? Um, for important things during these 28 weeks. I don't know if we need that afterwards, but for now it's important. In case something was needed, you know, they can go to the city and pick it up. I think one, one car, one family car, right? One regular car for every new land. Just in case they need to... Uh, purchase something for construction or, you know, something's missing, they can go, come back. And, of course, for all those vehicles, they need proper reports made on the mileage. Uh, they have to make a quick video around the vehicle before they leave. Uh, make sure, you know, they are, they are not bad, they are no um, uh, scratches, no... Uh, bad, uh, um, anything is bad. When they come back from their their work, right, they also have to do this very short, quick video. They also have to take pictures, uh, no, sorry, the same video going to show the um, odometer. So the driver couple will be uh, filming first their faces, right? Showing, good morning, here's this and that. Say their name. And then they are right there by the cabin of the vehicle, right? Or the car, right? By the driver's seat. And show the odometer and um, um, for reporting. And then they go around the vehicle very quick, show their face again, and say, this is... The, ah, so in the beginning, they have to say the proper day, and time, you know, and which camp they are, if they have a number or any other specific about the camp they work for. All right? And then they show their faces again, uh, this short video, and that is done um, for, for those two times, before they leave and also when they come back. The key is need to be placed at the security trailer, right? Where the security guards will be checking the cameras uh, the whole day. We have the morning team and the afternoon team. And for everything else on those trailers, because we are also going to have uh, after, soon after, the construction trailers and all the other information, it's on other videos already posted uh, on YouTube. Okay, so... 
For everything else on this 80, about 80 different teams, we're going to have the same thing. Some teams can be done even uh, uh, made at nearby universities, uh, such as getting donations for this and that, helping to get all the materials needed, the plants needed, herbs, roots, the fruit trees, you know, gather the best as possible from nearby cities or even nearby states, okay? We also need a team that will gather the seeds, right, that will come from other countries, but that they have great chances of um, survival. They can easily be adapted according to the region, the zone they are, okay? Because um, countries have a lot of regulations on um, seeds, but um, it's very important for us to start sharing, okay, instead of using GMO seeds. Why GMO seeds can go everywhere and regular seeds cannot go or heirloom seeds cannot go. So um, these universities, um, nearby university, we already be uh, searching up and see who has the seeds that are approved for that region, okay? So they can already mail um, um, and send by airplanes because regular mail is not going to be um, open anymore. But for everything that's special and needed for our work, such as construction items, right, seeds, um, plants in general, plants and trees, right, small trees, those items will continue to be able to be uh, sent to other countries uh, by airplanes, okay, because the ships, we already decided, the ships go and stop right there because of... Um, problems with drugs that we don't want to help. But airplanes are easy to be checked inside, outside, you know, it's very easy. So all these things, even trees, fruit trees that are two meters tall, if approved to come from other country, yes, we can do it. They can put the trees laying down on the luggage compartment, whichever it's appropriate, or the animals compartment, because... Um, Many airplanes have those compartments, even with air conditioning. So, and also the way we will be wrapping those trees for them to don't get damaged. They have proper what they need. They need protection against the AC of that area, or they need protection against the heat of that airplane area. What they need, and then from that. Our organization, we already indicate how they have to be wrapped, to be strong, maybe a few together, and also for the soil, um, needs to be taken out from the plastic containers, of course, and be wrapped. You know, like they put in some uh, kind of uh, a fabric, natural fabric, right? And then when they are at their location, people will really be careful to take that wrap out before they plant. Okay, so I think those are the basic information for us to work on and will be a real gift, my friends. Ah, seeds, okay, seeds. Um, Okay, so for people to be able to move out from any country of any continent, they, have, they cannot move in 10 years, as I said earlier. They have to wait longer for that. So for that, I will let you know if it's going to be after 2040 or 2080, or even maybe after one or two hundred years from the organization launching day. Why is that? For people to think about what they have at that time.
for people to to start having ground and and really love the place. So maybe even a few decades won't be enough. Um, we are only allowing people to move to other um, countries, right? Because with the centuries, for people to don't have uh, the same genetics, because otherwise we will be also making again uh, families with the same genetics, for example. As I thought before, everyone will be living in their same county, right? But with the hundreds of years, what's going to happen? Everyone will be their own family, so that's not good for genetics. So on this detail, we're going to let you know afterwards, because my, we might wait a hundred or a hundred years. I think about a hundred years would be the most sustainable. But I will let you know afterwards because I need some specialists in the area. And also, uh, we're going to check with the security department to see what they say. The other thing for that, we have to know who can move and how many can move. So we won't have the same thing again. People moving, moving, moving. All right? And after that, I think um, in how many years, uh, so who move, move only once, okay? People are not going to move twice in their whole life. After that is decided, you know, for all future families, I think that's the most sustained. They can move only once. That is decided, all right? Move once during lifetime, during lifetime. Okay, of that couple, of course, right? Because they might live in one place and after retiring, they can move to another place. All right, so these details, I will let you know. Who can move and how many can move? And, um, you know, and how far they can move. If we are going to do only, they can only move up to, for example, um, 400 kilometers, or are we going to just leave open for people to move anywhere they want because people are just going to carry a few bags with them anyways, right? So all these details we're going to let you know afterwards. Uh, so to where they can move. Of course, will be also based on the peace app points that the interested couple to move uh, will have. Okay. People that are moving anywhere, they're not carrying any furniture, right? This is for everyone. And um, they can carry their um, few items of the house, such as clothing and a few things like that. They also cannot carry any previous pictures that show their previous religion or previous cultural or previous festivals they used to be that are specific to a church or a culture or a country, okay? To avoid uh, people to be attached to those moments and also to avoid anyone on a future to have because this is not needed. We are all renewing life completely. So we will focus to have pictures from now on. From the 28 days, as soon as people are not using their costumes anymore, their cultural costumes, they can already have their pictures taken. So people work in the garden, people work in the construction sites, people preparing food. You know, we need all these pictures from before and after and everything between that will be the 28 weeks, okay? All right, so people that will be taking airplanes, we're going to give a list of items they can be, bring. Probably just two sets of clothes in an open reusable bag because uh, per person, two sets of clothes per person. I think that's sustainable enough and a sweater for the airplane, right? Um, and I think that's really good. 
if the people are from real warm countries and going to real cold countries such as Canada for example or Europe right they will only go if they are of um, of different races and if they have good points all right okay so for the luggage is that about two sets in open bag reusable open bags like supermarket uh, bags in canvas or plastic six strong plastic we're not going to have any hard luggage already said that right okay my friends so we're doing really great all right, so I just have a few more things. One is about the irremovable bracelets. They will be given and installed for each person right at the first or second day for everyone. They will have proper numbers that will be already connected to the person profile, right? And already be scanned in locations that they will be going to such as the bathroom, the clubhouse, construction site, and, you know, all these basic things. And, of course, as we build more, we will have more of those um, scanners. So people when passing, or community rooms, the clubhouse, the pool, they have to scan their bracelet in all those locations. When they leave the residential community and go to the school or to go to work, the same way every residential community will also have their own um, um, uh, entrance gate, right? And their own property walls. And they have to scan their items as well. Okay, the other thing... It's for it's how many people, how many families can move out of those areas. And this will be the same for everyone else. For example, in China, we have many, many um, uh, camps, right? Let's say, um, whichever word they use, but they are type of camps. We have countries with huge slums. And for everyone else, it's the same way. How many can move, where they're going. So for some people, the organization actually will invite them because of their experience, of the, because of their very good practices. We already invite them to go to certain locations. For other people, before, because of negative practice, they will already be indicated to go somewhere, right? Where is less populated counties for them to be monitored easier, right? Um, by security guards because they did something very bad, for example, in their past. The other thing is that for vehicles, you know, I said earlier we're going to have um, uh, one car per new land, so we're not going to have that office car anymore. It's not needed not sustainable we are only going to have the regular um, pick up and drop off trucks okay so those trucks can be part of every new land and they're going to share days and hours with all the sites of that new land all the schools all the the preschools, or the residential communities, or the business centers, okay? So they will have proper schedule, and they are not part of one specific residential community or business centers. They are trucks that are part of the new land, the whole new land. So for now, they are going to do a lot of construction, pickups and drop-offs, right, for construction materials for food and soon after for clothes and then we'll start coming the new furniture and everything else is going to be really beautiful and really special my friends the tractors will be coming from nearby areas nearby farmers or even from nearby states nearby cities 
whichever it's set up by the organization assistant teams, for everyone to have those small tractors. Because they can do in a few hours what people will be doing in a long, long time. All right, we still studying about the tractors, very small tractors that we can still have, you know, with solar panel. So they will be small in a reasonable way, right? They can also harvest uh, some type of um, food, but I do not have an answer on that yet because even that every new land will have one tractor will be only for the time until they one day break down cannot be fixed anymore because you're not making new tractors because that's not sustainable but i think that one uh, uh, one per new land i think is sustainable until one day they break all right, we're not going to have the very big ones that, you know, that they're not needed, not sustainable. But I think one small one, right? I think that is good. But I will give an answer on that afterwards because I'm not sure yet. But for the 28 weeks, that's for sure. All right, what I don't know, it's for after, for after the 28 weeks, okay? Okay, so the new land, we also have a property, walls all around, all around. That, I think, is really reasonable to be two meters high. All right, and the last item I'm going to say, it's for family fun days on Sundays that they can have water days right there in the community. Okay, with sprinklers, the children can play and change clothes afterwards, right? Right there, they can first have some games, and after that, some other games, playing around. Okay, my friends, and the sprinklers can come, be connected to water trucks at first, until they have water wells, and things like that. My friends, thank you so much for your participation. You have a blessed and wonderful, very productive and healthy week. Let's get organized. And I hope our new videos will be um, offered soon at our website. And I talk to you soon. Take care. Okay, so now I'm going to say a few words for people living in refugee camps in Germany because they have some that I know in an old airport, and I don't know about the other ones. But Germany passed the line of warm countries, right? It passes the 50 degree um, away from the equator, north from the equator. So that's way too much, and we don't want that. So all those people will be already sent to warmer countries, where they can have proper buildings that they need anyways, and they cannot stay on old airports. And the old airports need to be properly demolished and, and use the area for the best needed. Um, that can be an agroforestry. Let's plant some woods there. All right, so thank you so much for everyone. In all refugee camps, you know, also the presidents of those countries, government leaders, that are giving their positions to the organization, new uh, department directors and new government leaders. Thank you so much. Have a very good, positive week. Talk to you soon. The other thing is that we are not bringing to any group of people uh, food that they are not positive and they are not used to. For example, refugee camps that do not have bread. We are not bringing bread to them. You know, and the same, that's just an example and for everything else in the same way. We are going to already bring to those people healthy, approved food. Okay, thank you. Talk to you soon.